Hello fellow modelers, this is Frankie Day back again on YouTube. Today on YouTube, I have an update build report on my Trumpeter 148 scale albatross flying boat. Uh, as to for today, uh, I'm preparing for the finishing color on it. I've been on this about, like, about an hour or two. Um, <clears throat> as to the, uh, the update build report, what I've done on my albatross, I went ahead and uh, gave the Gave the model a final prime coat of gray primer. I was gray primer dry for a couple hours, and I went back using the flat white on the wing tips, the upper and, and bottom sections of the wing tips. Also, the rescue band and the rear fuselage impetage. Also, on top, as you can see here, where the wing walk goes, that yellow wing walk, that's, that's all been pre painted white. Uh, Reason that reason of have white on there, it's always a good rule of thumb. Uh, before you apply any day glow colors or any identification trim, uh, identification colors on wing tips, tail bands, or even on the tail itself, any kind of any kind of special markings like that, it's always good rule of thumb to apply flat white before applying the color, because it, you apply yellow colors over gray primer or silver paint or whatever finish you got, with the exception of white, you're going to run into trouble. It'll take a long time for you to get to the proper color, and a lot of time you'll have a lot of paint build up. So it's always best, makes it easier as a base coat to apply your, your, your flat white primer before applying a lighter color of yellow or dago orange or dago reds. Uh, on this model right now, the flat white is dry. It's ready to accept the coat of yellow. What I'm going to do now is go, go ahead I'm going to mask off all the areas that don't need to be painted from here and I'm going to mask off right here and this be all yellow. After the yellow is applied first and dried, I'll apply my masking tape. That'll mask off the areas I go ahead and do with my aluminum. Over here in the wing walk, I'm going to make a masking tape inlay. That'll that'll resemble that that'll be the that'll be your wing walk decal right there. They can paint it on. I don't know why on earth for the cost of a model like this, Trump didn't come out with a decal. It made life a lot more simpler, but can't have everything. So the expensive outweighs uh the expense outweighs the cheap ones, but like I said previously, I wouldn't have any other way I'd give you something to do. Now same thing with the tail plays the tail band. Once all the yellow's done, I'll mask up the tail band itself. And go ahead and finish the whole, whole aircraft uh, entirely with flat aluminum paint. And um, once that's dry, I'll move the masking, and the borderline of black will be done with uh, decal paper. I have some decal paper I already pre, pre painted black already, spray painted. And I use a good metal rule on top of glass, on a glass table or glass surface. I can cut out my striping and dip it and go ahead and dip it in the water and go ahead and apply the borderline decal on. That's a good tip right there. Anybody trying to attempt at building a model like this. Uh, it's going on pretty good. So on the next YouTube uh, presentation, uh, it'll be, it'll be, um, the model will be done in its entirety color. It'll be all, the masking will be all done. The aluminum paint will be applied. I'm all that was decals in the borderline. Uh, I want to get this thing done because I got masking tape on the windows, and during a passage of time, the, uh, the glue on the masking tape will leave a residue on top of the plastic, so you don't want none of that. It's only good for be on about a month. Anything more than 30 days, your masking tape will leave residue on there, and you won't like that, especially masking the windows. That's the reason why, in the beginning of the build, I always spray paint it around the windows first. They went ahead and added the transparencies and masked it off before applying the primer. The old album toss has come along pretty well, so I'll have another video of it this evening and uh, and it's a tardy color scheme. And uh, all that's left would be, like I say, be the black border and the icer boots and the rest of the trim colors and the decaling and she's all done. Um, once that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, sanding down uh, 
the filler on my F100 Speedy 192 Part 2 Cold War 1950 jet group build. I'll get that going. And, uh, gotta, I gotta get the, uh, that Mustang, I got on the Mustang done too that I'm doing on the, uh, World War II aircraft forms. Incidentally, I'll sneak this in to you. I'll probably have to show it to you fellas when it's completed. Uh, I'm doing it the same way I did the Starfire. I applied 10 foil. This is the monogram kit. I had this for ages. I think I bought this, what, 81, 82? I just pulled it out of my stash. So they have a nose art, they have a nose art, uh, group build on, on the aircraft forms. So anybody uh, interested in aircraft models, go to www.aircraftforms and uh, look up the decade. That's my username. And you'll see all my builds posted there. This is the Monogum P-51 Mustang. The fuselage is done in, temp in uh, aluminum foil like I've done the Starfire. I get a little closer, you can see it. On this side here, i got the decals on there. Next, I've got to do it on the wings. Apply the sheeting on the wings. I've got the de-icer and the glare panel painted already. I've got the checkerboard on the te on the uh, checkerboard nose art on this aircraft. So this is a 148 scale monogam group build I'm doing on the aircraft forms. So far, I've got the fuselage completed. It's all been done and uh, pretty well detailed. I like that aluminum foil. It stuff really works really well. Sound out about the stuff that makes the model more realistic than what it appears. Uh, other than that, that's what's shaking. So, uh, on the next uh, YouTube, it will be the, the final coloring of the, the final color schedule on my Albatross flying boat. We'll get that out of the way. That'll be that there. Uh, as soon as I finish up my play, I'll go to something else. I might throw a 132nd Bovell Germany Heinkel 111 into. I bought that kit about about a month ago. It's a hundred dollar kit, but I got it for sixty bucks down at my favorite hobby shop I go to. There's one hobby shop I go to. They mark everything up so sky high. You, you just hang your head and well when you walk in and walk out. So Don Smitty, the hobby shop I've been going to many years, I'm I'm going back to him now. So I can get a lot of kits. You get a kit that's retailed for about thirty bucks from the manufacturer. You can get it for fifteen. So anyway, Walt, on that uh, group bill you did uh, on that uh, Yak, uh, a big twenty-one you did. I mean, I tell you, those uh, those guys must be out of their minds charging a twenty-dollar kit for a. For a, for a for a junkie Lindbergh kit, I mean that that's that's going that's going uh, beyond and then some. Ain't no way I would pay something like that for a for a Lindbergh kit like that. It's not cheaper. You just give them an eBay or close out places. Um, I went to my hobby shop today to check on uh, Mark's Speedy 197 B17G. It'll be in the day now, and uh, they got a big old box of grab kits. I got this for three dollars. Excuse me, back fellas. I know Airlines Douglas Boston bomber. Uh, almost like that of the Airfix kit. This is a frog kit. Airlines, a good kit. Back in the 60s, these are 49 cent wonders. Not anymore. So I went there and picked that up for three bucks. Can't beat that. So, anyway, Walt, <laughs> you know, it did be by at least one dollar, but like I say, I can see paying that much for kits like that. But this, that kit's a, an old 1960s kit. I remember seeing it. Probably about 63, 64. Um, Anyway, I got a lot to keep me busy for a while, so I want to get this albatross going. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply the yellow on it right now and let the yellow dry. Uh, it depends on the chrome yellow. If the, if the yellow is uh, pretty well touched dry, I'll go ahead and mask. I'll go ahead and mask it off. If not, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and 
start the paint schedule on tomorrow. I think it's not best I just go ahead and start the paint schedule tomorrow. Uh, I kind of jumped ahead of myself right there, just announcing that there'll be a video of the, of the model be done its entirety by this evening. But yellow paint dries a long, long time, especially for gloss finish. So I think it's best I just go ahead and airbrush the yellow out, let it dry 24 hours, and I go ahead and mask it off and um, tomorrow and uh, and finish up the lumen color. <coughs> So after, this, after I get the yellow applied on, I'll just go ahead and start working on the Hun, my F100, Part 2 of Speedy's uh, 197's group build of 1950 Cold War jet aircraft. Get that out of the way, then I can go ahead and turn two on, on the World War II form's uh, P-51 Mustang. That'll be that. Well, I got 10 minutes and 40 se 48 seconds on the, on the clock right here. It's still ticking. So before I sign off, I'd like to thank everybody out there for tuning in, and thank you for your replies on my uh, on my builds. And I'll keep you well entertained. And I'm praying every night to get my web camera. Uh, my brother, he's got a bunch of web cameras, and uh, he's fixing one up for me right now. I said, like I went down to the Radio Shack, got that web camera I got. It was didn't come in. The guys still give me the the same old song and dance story. I I've I've danced that plenty of times, so. I'm quit dancing, so I need I need another web camera. So I'll get a good one now that'll show me working on my models and um, have a few tutorials here and there. My secrets I can't reveal my secrets too much with this computer web camera I got in front of my face. So I'm limited right there. So yeah, it is what it is until I get the camera. I know I've been saying it for a long time, fellas, but it's going to get here eventually. So. Stay tuned. No, I'll, I'll have it in no time. Anyway, I'm, i got to sign off here before I get rejected, so I'm on 11 minutes now. I'd like to thank everybody once more again for your, all your wonderful replies. And thank you for tuning in. And please subscribe. And happy modeling. Like Lenny always says, which is a very good saying. It works in my book. Paint your fingers, paint your face, be good to your mom. Square with the house. Happy modeling. We'll catch you on the next YouTube presentation. Uh, I'll probably post one night at my F100. So stay tuned. Thank you, fellas. And may God bless. Bye, boys.